Have you ever thought to yourself, there are lots of different forms of birth control. There's the pill, the patch, the ring, the shot, wearing ugly clothes so that no one wants to talk to you. I wonder though, which one works best? Outside of abstinence and intentionally unflattering overalls, it turns out that intrauterine devices, or IUDs, are the most effective, keeping babies from being made 99% of the time. IUDs are actually the most popular form of contraception in the world, but in the United States, only 1.3% of women use them as birth control. Now you're probably asking, but Kristen, why haven't I heard more about these IUDs if they're so effective? Well, in the 1970s, there was a similar looking device called the Dalcon Shield that gave its users pelvic infections and internal scarring, and some women even became infertile. A class action lawsuit was brought against the A.H. Robbins Company, the makers of the Dalcon, and they got their pants, and likely pants suits, sued off of them, forcing the company into bankruptcy. The consumer mistrust that the Dalcon created is still lingering in many women's and doctors' minds even 40 years later. But ladies and gents, calm your fears, because the new IUDs are better and safer than their predecessors. The IUD is shaped like a T, with a string attached that leads into the cervix so women can make sure the device is still in place. While widely available, you'll still need to go to a medical professional to get one inserted. You can't just pick these things up at your local Hobby Lobby and whoop! There are two kinds of IUDs. One is coated in copper and can be left in the uterus for up to 10 years. The other kind releases the hormone progesterone and lasts for five years. So how does copper or progesterone keep you from getting pregnant? Well, doctors today think IUDs prevent fertilization. Either the copper makes the uterus toxic to sperm while slowing and damaging eggs, or the progestin makes a woman's cervical mucus thicker and hostile to sperm. Think of it as some kind of giant, angry, mucus-excreting snail guarding your lady bits. Or don't. IUDs are so effective, in fact, that they can be used as emergency birth control up to five days after unprotected sex. But, contrary to common myth, IUDs do not induce abortions. They do not induce abortions. And there are lots of additional advantages to using an IUD as birth control. First, you don't have to worry about contraception every day. And like I said, the effectiveness is very high with less than 1% chance of pregnancy occurring. The hormone releasing version of the IUD can even make your periods lighten or stop altogether after a year, although you might find that bleeding and cramps are worse at first. Now the copper one, on the other hand, will actually make your periods heavier, but some women prefer to have a hormone-free option. Overall, IUDs are discreetly hidden from view, low cost, very low maintenance, and highly effective. But nothing's perfect and there are a few disadvantages to them. They sometimes make menstrual cramps and bleeding worse just after insertion. And if these symptoms continue, a physician may have to remove the device. And also, while they're nowhere near as bad as that Dalcon shield of the 1970s, modern IUDs are thought to increase the probability of pelvic infections after the first few months post-insertion. But if you're one of the less than 1% of IUD users who actually do get pregnant with it, you should see your doctor right away. The device can increase your risk of a miscarriage infection in the uterus and preterm birth of a baby. So now that you've heard how they work and their pros and cons, what do you think about IUDs? If you use birth control, would you get one? Let us know in the YouTube comments so we can continue the conversation and please subscribe to our channel so you're alerted the minute we've got new videos to share.